NATO. Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg's ambitious proposal to allocate 40 billion euros annually in aid to Ukraine has been met with resistance from member states, according to recent reports. The constituent countries, however, have agreed to earmark this sum for Kiev's needs next year, Reuters claimed. Reuters also reported that Stoltenberg's original request had been turned down, with member states merely stating their intention to re-evaluate allied contributions at future NATO summits. The proposal, which aimed to secure long-term funding for Ukraine's defense and stability, failed to garner sufficient support during NATO consultations leading up to the upcoming summit in Washington, D.C. Zelensky has reiterated the urgent need for increased air defense capabilities to bolster Ukraine's defenses against ongoing Russian aggression. He advocated for acquiring a significant number of air defense systems and conducting long-range strikes on locations where Russian forces and their allies are stationed. Zelensky expressed hope that NATO would approve the supply of Patriot missile systems during the upcoming summit in Washington. We can stop all this with only one thing, only with a large number of air defense systems, only with long-range strikes on the locations where Russian terrorists are based on their air bases. We are actively talking about all this with our partners at all levels. We are preparing for the NATO summit in Washington, in particular, from the point of view of the Patriots for Ukraine. Stoltenberg had been advocating for member states to commit to maintaining the current level of military support provided to Ukraine since 2022. However, while member states agreed to allocate funds for Kyiv's immediate needs in the coming year, they deferred making a firm commitment to the proposed long-term funding plan. The funding mechanism under discussion would distribute financial responsibilities based on the GDP of member states, with wealthier nations expected to contribute more substantially. We have agreed new, more ambitious defense plans. Allies are delivering more forces, high readiness, uh, investing in high-end capabilities. And this year, uh, 23 allies uh, are going to invest more than 2% of GDP uh, on uh, defense, which is uh, uh, great progress compared to where we were just a few years ago. Stoltenberg emphasized the need for NATO to transition from voluntary contributions to more robust and reliable commitments, citing delays and shortcomings in fulfilling pledges made by European allies. In addition to financial considerations, NATO plans to establish a security assistance group for Ukraine based in Wiesbaden, Germany. This group will coordinate NATO's military assistance efforts for Ukraine with oversight from General Christopher Cavoli of the US European Command. The initiative is viewed as a contingency plan amid concerns over the sustainability of NATO's existing support structures. The uncertain future of US policy towards Ukraine, especially if Donald Trump becomes president again, adds to the concerns. Trump has been critical of current U.S. aid to Kyiv, prompting NATO to urgently refine its strategy for supporting Ukraine. 